Hey, good morning. It's, uh, I think it's Thursday, I think. <laughs> um, September 14th. And so, um, I made some videos yesterday and on my phone, it looks like my phone needs more memory, so I'm going to have to wait till um, a week or so so I can buy some more memory for my phone. Um, but today I'm going to go out and go get some groceries. So I did two videos last night and they're taking a long time to upload, so I'm just going to try to compile all of them into this one video. So the first one I did, I, I titled Week, and I was referring to um, Joel. Um, I don't know. I turned my phone off yesterday because I was having some problems with the, um, with the, um, what do you call it, the speed of my phone. And so um, I turned it off and then turned it back on, and I was alerted that I, I received a voice message. And um, the voice message was basically Joel saying that he got the tickets for this concert that he mentioned. Now, I'm not sure... Because, you know, when my phone starts getting wonky, I don't know if I received that phone call during that same day or if it was like a week ago or whatever, okay? And so I checked the log on my phone. It doesn't look like he called, um, you know, recently. So I, I'm assuming that maybe um, this was maybe from like a week or two ago. So it, because I was thinking that if he was calling me and talking about the concert, you know, now after, you know, he it's very clear to him that I don't want to be married to him anymore, um, you know, that would be stupid on his part, but, or it's also weak, you know, that he would even present that, um, um, based on what he was assuming that was going to, you know, keep me around him or whatever, because I thought that he was just trying to be friendly, knowing that I was going through a hard time, because some people, when they're getting, going through divorce or whatever, they still try to be friends with one another, you know what I mean, um, just for the support, you know. Um, I thought he was being that way, but no, I see him as a completely different, you know, a, a completely different angle in it. I think that um, his family's involvement in this, um, people, employers or whatever, thought that perhaps maybe they had legal rights over me. They don't have any legal rights over me. So receiving assistance from lawyers or anything like that is not necessary. They're stalkers. They need to get out of my life, period. They have no right to be in there. They have no right to say anything. I have no legal ties to any of them. Um, even though I'm married to Joel at the moment until the divorce is finalized, I still have no legal rights toward He has no legal rights over me. So all of this has been a waste of my fucking time, basically. Um, but I will be say, will say that I will be receiving, getting tra restraining orders against his family for, for doing what they've done. Every single last one of them that I can think of, okay? I don't have any ties to any of his family, and I'm very grateful for it. The second video I, I was doing was basically um, talking about favors um, with, with strings attached. And I think that was kind of going along the same line. Um, you know, um, basically, um, you know, these jobs that I've had in the past and, and the mobbing that I've received um, at, at the workplace, um, I had no idea that these people were arranging my jobs, okay? And basically what you're dealing with, they're a bunch of psychotic people that want to give you something and then um, be overly nitpicky. Like, for example, if you wear jeans one day on a Friday, when you, you, jeans are a lot anyway, but they would prefer you wear slacks or, or, or you, 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 they don't like your shoes or something. They feel as though they have the right to come in and say and complain about something because they gave you the job when there was no real agreement that the job was arranged by them in the first place. So this is a form of abuse, okay? Um, domestic abuse that is taking place and acting in the workplace. I, I, I'm absolutely, you know, disgusted by, you know, the, the, the uh, what do you call it, the gullibility, the, just people being that gullible, thinking that um, people could actually have rights like that. They don't, you know what I mean? So this is my biggest issue with these people. I'm not exactly sure. I'm using my camera right now, so I don't know exactly how long my battery's going to last for, so it might get cut off, who knows, but... Um, I, I was really upset with my phone acting wonky. So for the for the if I do make videos, I'm going to be using my camera, and I'm going to make sure that my 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 batteries are sufficiently charged. Today I have to go get some groceries. Um, I'm doing the best I can to get to um, look for work. I let Karen Johnson know, as well as Steve Murray know that you know it's their responsibility to clean up this mess. I do recall I did mention in my other video that's having a hard time getting uploaded. We'll see how that works. But um, that, you know, all of this weird stuff started happening. Um, I, I got back together with Joel in 2000, I don't know. I, 
moved back to Bakersfield after leaving organized sports in 2009. Okay, that was um, I, I left in July, and it took me about two or three months to actually get here. Okay, but during that time I was receiving disability because of the mobbing at the job. So um, I wanted to find another job and get back home with my life and find for find a reasonable place a place that was reasonable in the cost of living. So I came back to Bakersfield. Um, my intention was not to get back together with Joel. It was to basically come here for the cost of living. So um, I got here and, you know, now first of all I'd like to say that while I was away, Joel was the one who contacted me. He was contacting me. He was telephone, telephoning me. He was sending me texts. And I kept thinking, I was being polite, but I, I kept thinking, why is he contacting me? You know what I mean? But whatever the case is, when I came back to Bakersfield, he was coming over to my house wanting to come and see me. So I said, you know, I'm so dumb. Yeah, okay, why, why can't we? We can just be friends, okay? So we, um, he was coming over every weekend. And so, um, you know, eventually we, he was basically saying that he wanted to, to, to stick around, you know, whatever. So we ended up moving back in in 2010, okay? Before that, everything was going pretty well at the Murray's, okay? I, was like, I liked my job, okay? I, I thought it was great. It was different from where I was before because I was able to... Um, you know, uh, basically be more autonomous, meaning I was, I was coming into work, I felt good, nobody was breathing down my neck, I was getting things done and I was transforming um, the, 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 the department quite well. And, and, and everybody was coming to me for, you know, um, to, to get things done. I was being very um, active in the retail um, portion of it as well as getting involved with the farming and everything. And I really felt like I was doing I was doing an exceptional job, really. I really was, and I was very proud of myself. Um, but anyway, by 2010, he had moved in. He moved in in October of 2010. Um, the first year, I went to the Christmas party by myself. The second year, I brought Joel to the Christmas party. And after I brought him to the Christmas party, everything started to change. <clears throat> the behavior of the employees were getting strange. The owner. Uh, was becoming very strange, very sarcastic, and, and everything. I couldn't figure it out. I really couldn't. Um, you know, what was his issue? And maybe I'm sure his family started getting, you know, mob. I mean, uh, psychotic or whatever, and they just felt like... I, I'd like to clarify this with the family, his family, okay? I didn't sit here and pursue Joel. He kept pursuing me, period, okay? So get off my ass already. All right. I think I've done a lot for Joel. Okay. Um, basically, I paid the um, the the deposit on the house that um, that while we were renting, and when it was time for me to decide to split, he basically was being a stubborn asshole and saying that he was going to stay in the house. Okay. That's my money. Okay. I put the money in that in that place. Okay. But yet he's staying there. Also, you know, when things got bad. My car got destroyed. I figured he needed some form of transportation. I ended up getting him a car. Now, mind you, there was problems with that old car, but still, I, I did a lot for that asshole, okay? So I'm getting tired of these people thinking that I owe him something. I don't owe him shit, okay? Um, anyway, so basically, to make a long story short, is that, you know, people tend to confuse what's legal with what some people look at as tradition. Like, some, some people are very possessive to the point of where, um, like, I think his family thinks that because I, I, I was married to Joel that they had some sort of legal rights over me, and so they become possessive and bossy and intrusive, and that's exactly the word, intrusive, illegally intrusive. And the thing is, is that um, it's not like a tradition, like, you know, how some people have certain customs, okay? Like, for example, they celebrate Christmas in a certain way, or they um, do something um, systematically. Like, you know, like, for example, maybe one day of each year they might dress up or something, or they have some other sort of tradition or some sort of cultural habit that they do that is understandable based on their cultural ties or their religious ties, okay? Um, but this is a form of abuse, okay? Some people are, they just treat women a certain way, and that's just the way it is, okay? What this is is abuse. I don't have anything to do with that family, and I can walk away right now and be free of it. They don't have anything on me, period, okay? Now, what I can turn around and do eventually is turn around and sue their asses is what I could do because this is inappropriate on their part as well as the employers, okay? Now, um, so with that said, um, 
I don't have anything to do with them. And I'm getting tired of these people thinking that I do. I'm done, okay? Um, so, yeah, Joel lied about a lot of things. You know, he lied about the religious aspect of it. He pretends to be one thing and then, and then aligns himself with this particular cult, which this is exactly what it is. It's a cult. Um, there is nothing wrong with Christianity. There's nothing wrong with people who um, practice Christianity in the proper fashion. But what this is is a, is a cult. And it, it's wrong. Um, what else did I want to say? I got, what, nine minutes left on this video? I actually charged his battery up pretty good, um, which I'm, I'm quite pleased. Because um, in the past, in the past I've had problems with this, but I must have, I must have had it on the charger for a pretty good time. So um, I don't know if those other videos are going to upload in time or not. Who knows? Who knows? But I'm, I'm definitely trying to get the ball rolling on it. Um, so those are my concerns. My concerns is that this has been going on for many years since this started happening back in 2000. Okay, I left in 2007 of Bakersfield and then I worked at Organized Sports. And it was at Organized Sports, um, it was pretty normal, okay? Um, I knew that people were a little bit overly friendly to me, but I, 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 it was just like, okay, whatever. By 2008, I, I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't take it anymore. It was more like, People were <clears throat> being rude. Um, they were being um, just nosy and, and irritating. You know what I mean? To the point of where I felt like, wh why are you acting this way? I don't get it. I'm assuming it was his family as well as my family working together. Maybe they got together on Facebook or whatever. I don't have any. This, you know, people need to understand the difference between right and wrong, okay? Obviously, if you're over the age of 18, you can do what you want. Married ties don't mean shit, not when it comes to employment. Not at all. It has nothing to do with it. So, I'm, um, I'm more understanding about business laws than most people, okay? Because I've been interested in business laws for quite a long time. And, um, and it doesn't take much for me to be able to refer back to certain things and, and understand how they work, okay? I'm, I'm, my mind is very mechanical in that way. So basically all of this has been going on for the longest time. It's going on in a lot of people's lives too because a lot, I, I just got an email from somebody else saying that I guess her mother-in-law thought that she could do the same thing. And you get these employers who um, don't understand what they're doing. See, the thing is, is that human resources... <clears throat> and, and that kind of legal, that, not legal, but employment paperwork, that's pretty much what human resources is, okay? It's basically understanding um, how to be compliant. Compliant, okay? It's about compliance. It's about, but I will say that human resources works in the best interest of the company, okay? Um, but it is about compliance. It's a bunch of forms, and I will tell you that if, it, if that's how people look at it, then anybody can do that job, all right? But what really is, is lacking in, in, in this issue is the fact that most people don't understand how the laws apply. Because if they did, this sort of shit wouldn't be happening. It wouldn't happen. You know? You, you wouldn't get somebody saying, um, calling up saying, well, I'm so-and-so's, I'm you know, um, uh, I don't know. I, I, how, what is his, his Aunt Esther Gooding to me? I, I, I don't even know at this point, okay? But I don't have any connection to her. But obviously she feels as though she has some sort of right or say so over me, it's, and his mother does too. They don't, okay? Anything that you see, especially since these, these particular laws are posted on the wall, okay? They are posted on every work wall, every single place of employment. These basic, basic employment laws, okay? That means that anything that relates to your marriage has no bearing in the workplace. doesn't matter who you're married to, Whatever. It, it has nothing nothing to do with it. She's married to so-and-so. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter who you're married to. You know what I mean? Or, or if you're married at all. Those are not the things you're supposed to base it on. You're not supposed to base anybody's income based on it. You're not supposed to base any, your, how you treat people on it, um, how people get a job. Um, if somebody can approve a job for you, like I believe that that's what his family did, well, she could do this and she can't do that. Bullshit. That's illegal. Okay? And that was right in front of these people's faces. And it's in front of a lot of people's faces. So what we have here is we have problems with people not understanding their duties. And people getting by. 
And so my point is, is that if you if you hire somebody in those sort of positions, why not just pay them nine dollars an hour? Because anybody can do that job. Anybody can. But you hired people because you want these people to understand the intricate laws and the the um, the things that are not necessarily so in front of your face, which that was in front of their face. Okay, so how they missed that one, I will never know. Okay, just not using logic or whatever, but whatever. Um, and it's very common too. But you want somebody who fully understands how the laws apply and and how and, and how when they apply. You know what I mean? And this is my biggest issue. And I'm saying is that I believe that I know I do have um, skills more than the average person when it comes to this sort of stuff because I'm very knowledgeable about business all the way around. So anyway, with that said, I, I was just exhausted yesterday and I was tired and I was just pissed off and um, I, I tend to get very frustrated because I need to get the hell out of town. I got to get out of this town. I, I can't be here anymore. I don't want to be here anymore at all. And um, I need to look for work and I want to get back to work as soon as possible. I can't. I'm not the kind of person that feels good doing anything until I'm actually working. I let Karen Johnson know, as well as Steve Marina, this is their responsibility because they're employers. They got, they took it upon themselves to do something that they shouldn't have done. They had no right to, you know, assist in finding me work, adjusting my work, preventing me, blocking me, which there's laws on that too, blocking me and doing all this sort of stuff. They had no right to do what they did. You know what I mean? What they, what they did was wrong, so I let them know, I need to go out and find work. I don't know what you did, how you, what you had, or how you helped spread it, or whatever, but it's wrong, period. I don't have any ties to that family, and whether I did or not, it's illegal. I have the right to move on uh, on my own. I don't need outside legal help, not in this situation. The only thing I need is a divorce, which is that I'm, I'm doing that right now. My issue is, these people are stalkers, and it's the employer's responsibility to recognize that. People can find work on their own. I don't want these people in my life. I don't want them. Okay? They have caused me entirely too much problems. I was stressed out last night. I couldn't go to sleep on time thinking about these people. Okay? I I'm done. I, I don't want anything. And if Esther is somebody who, who did this with her stupid religious campaign, we'll undo it. Okay, admit that you're a foolish sinner and you made a big mistake. I don't have anything to do with your fucked up religion, nor do I want to. Okay, it's not so much, it's not, like I said, it's not the Christianity part that bothers me. It's your abusive behavior. It's, it's, it's I find annoying. Okay, you have no rights. You have no say over me. Okay, none of you guys do. And I don't want you guys having anything to do with my life. Period. So anyway, I think that's all I need to say for now. I'm going to wrap this video up, and I will be back with another one later. I'll be charging my, my camera battery throughout the day and making videos from that. If, if those other videos upload, then that's great. Then just consider it a repeat of, of this particular video. But um, I just had to get that off my chest because there's a lot of memories that keep flooding back to me. They keep flooding back. And it's because I, my brain is unwinding. Because I, I'm not sitting, I don't have anything to do. All this has been a mystery that's been going on for almost a decade. Okay? All these people are being assholes to me for no reason. Oh, yeah, and I also want to talk about my, my hair issue. Oh, I got 59 minutes, seconds. Okay, um, my hair issue. Um, you know, I'll, I'll just, I'll wait on that at, on the next video. Because eventually it will upload, okay? So it's really not of that big of importance. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this one up. I will be back with another one probably in a few hours. Take care. Bye-bye.